Good morning everyone, uh, welcome to day 17 of my video blog. So I've just had breakfast, because uh, it's included in the hotel, which was, uh, it's alright, it's a, just a small uh, snack of sandwiches and a bit of a tiny egg omelette and some uh, little hot dog things. Uh, I'm now heading over to one of the train stations, uh, I think it's uh, for the subway, and I'm going to hop over to um, Tokyo Metropolitan building to uh, try and get a uh, morning view of the uh, skyline of Tokyo. Okay, I'm now at the base of the uh, Tokyo Metropolitan building. Uh, the subway actually comes out, if you go through the right exit, it comes out right at the base of it. Uh, I think part of the station is actually underneath it, but this is the uh, building here. So it's quite tall, probably not quite as tall as uh, Tokyo Skytree, um, but it will be hopefully some nice views and as far as I'm aware, it's entirely free to go into and uh, go up into the observatory. They don't charge you, which is really nice. Okay, I'm at the uh, top of the building now. Uh, you've got quite an amazing view from up here. It's an indoor observatory, uh, so you're actually inside. Uh, but take a look at that view. You see that Tokyo is absolutely massive. And this is just the North Tower. So you can see everything north of the government building. Uh, there's a second tower which you have to go up uh, separately if you want to see the uh, view from the south, uh, which I may go up later in the week. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Okay, I finished at the uh, Tokyo Metropolitan bu uh, Government Building now. I'm uh, going to head to uh, Harajuku next, uh, which isn't too far away. Uh, so that's going to be a load of shops, and I think there's also a nice uh, famous shrine over there as well. Okay, I'm in uh, Harajuku now. I'm, my first stop is going to be uh, Meiji Shrine, uh, which is going to be a, probably about 10, 15 minute walk that direction. Uh, I think when I visited Japan last time at this point I had a uh, very bad, uh, very sore feet because I had just arrived and done a lot of walking. Um, so <laughs> hopefully this uh, visit will be a lot more pleasurable than my last time. Okay, I finished at uh, Meiji Shrine now. I am heading back towards uh, Harajuku. I'm going to try and uh, check out some of their uh, famous shopping streets. There's a really long street with uh, not as long as all the ones in Osaka, uh, but with kind of stalls and uh, a few other things that I visited last year. It uh, looks absolutely amazing, which is pretty cool. And then I also think that Chicago, which I looked at in uh, Kyoto with the uh, uh, kimonos, I think they also have a uh, kind of store here as well so I'm gonna try and uh, find that if I can have a look at what components they have. Okay I'm here in uh, Takeshita Street now uh, which is a very nice uh, street it's where all the kind of modern things are all the up to date and hip hop clothes and stuff that uh, all the uh, teenagers wear in Japan uh, so I'm gonna go and take a walk down here and see what I can find.
I just found uh, Chicago, which is the uh, shop that I ran in Kyoto. I've uh, bought myself a uh, kimono, uh, which I'll show you a bit later. Um, so I've got, uh, I think, four parts of it. So I've got the sort of undershirt, the actual kimono, and then the overshirt, um, and then the actual kind of belt that goes with it. Uh, I haven't got the shoes yet because the largest size they had in there was uh, J Japan size 27. Um, whereas I think for my UK size I need about 31 and a half, 32 because uh, I have absolutely massive feet in uh, comparison to uh, your average uh, size Japanese person's feet. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to uh, Shinjuku towards my uh, hotel so I can drop this off uh, so I don't have to carry it around. I'm going to grab a bit of lunch as well and have so have a extended break because I need to catch up on a bit of sleep and a bit of rest uh, that I've lost over the last few days and then I'll catch up with you later. Okay, I've had a bit of a rest now and uh, because it's not raining, the weather's quite nice, so I thought I'd come back to Shibura quickly just to uh, show you how the crossing is uh, when it's not uh, checking down with rain. But because it's also Halloween weekend, um, it's absolutely packed with so many people that the police have actually had to come out and uh, man the crossing. Um, so it is absolutely jam-packed here. I've never seen so many people here while I've been here. Uh, but take a look, it's just, just about to change. Okay, so my next stop tonight is uh, Tokyo Tower. Um, it's going to take me a little while to actually get over there, so it'll probably be uh, dark by the time I get there. Um, probably pitch black, but it'll be really nice to see all the lights uh, of uh, the city at night. Uh, I've had a nice, good daytime view from the uh, government building, uh, so it'd be nice to get a nighttime view with all the lights, uh, unlike last night when uh, it was really cloudy. Um, but I'll see you when I get there. Okay, guys, I'm almost at uh, Tokyo Tower now. Uh, but uh, you can see it behind me, it uh, looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't think the uh, video uh, quality at night make, actually does it justice. Uh, last time I came to Tokyo Tower was during the day, the uh, last time I visited last year. Uh, so it's very different for me to actually see it at night, it's quite uh, amazingly cool. Uh, so I'll see you when I get up the top. Okay, I'm now at the uh, sort of halfway point of Tokyo Tower, uh, which is the main observatory. There is a, uh, another sort of layer to get up, uh, another set of esca um, not escalators, uh, elevators. Uh, but you have to pay extra to go up even further. So to get to this point, it costs 900 yen, uh, which is probably around, I'd say about seven pound fifty. Uh, but this is the the views, which are pretty nice. I finished on the uh, tower now. Uh, it turns out that the uh, upper kind of special deck, the uh, very, very top, is uh, under renovation from uh, the beginning of this month all the way through till I think summer next year. Uh, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to go up there. Um, but normally, when you're up there, it costs you a bit of extra money uh, on top of your ticket to go up to the first observatory. 
Uh, now I'm going to head over to uh, Shinjuku uh, so I can get some food and show you around what Shinjuku looks like. Okay, I'm in uh, Shinjuku now. Uh, this is what Shinjuku looks like at night. It's all the uh, neon lights. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Shinjuku is uh, sort of well known as the entertainment district of um, Tokyo. So there's lots of arcades, there's also loads of shops uh, with uh, electronics, uh, like Bit Camera, and th there's just loads of tax free shops everywhere as well if you're uh, visiting from abroad. It's also known as the Red Light District. Uh, so there's lots of love hotels around as well, if you've ever heard of a Japanese love hotel. Um, but uh, I'm going to go and try and find a restaurant in this uh, mess of streets uh, so that I can get some food. I've had dinner and looked around a few arcades as well. Um, it was very nice. So I went to a kind of ramen restaurant, and it's the uh, the kind of typical uh, fast food uh, ramen restaurant in Japan where you uh, pay for your meal beforehand by uh, getting a ticket from a vending machine, and then you give the t when you sit down, you give the ticket to the uh, servers, and they go and get your food. Um, so you don't have to pay at the end like you do with most restaurants. Um, now I'm going to go and try and go to a uh, cat cafe. Uh, which is supposedly on the sixth floor of this building in front of me. Um, I'm hoping there's a lift. Okay guys, I'm back at my uh, hotel room now. I've uh, finished the cat cafe. It was uh, qu quite nice. It's a nice place to sort of relax for an hour. Uh, usually it's about uh, 1,000 yen for, a, for an hour. It's the weekend, so it's about 1,300. And you can get drinks and stuff in there as well. And you can buy uh, some snacks and food to feed the cats with. Um, I've, uh, I also stopped on the way back at an arcade. And I won myself a little Pikachu and a uh, Charmander hoodie which is uh, pretty funky and then uh, as I said earlier I bought a uh, kimono so I uh, said I'd show it to you uh, so yeah, it's just bit, part of it's the belt that's here and then the kimono is this bit and I think this is the hattori which goes on top and then there's an undershirt as well uh, which means that you only have to wash the undershirt rather than the kimono, which is really hard to wash. Um, yeah, so that, that's it for the day. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.